Hey everybody, Isaiah's here with Daily Magic Games. And David. So today we have uh, Thieves' Den. Uh, this is the production pr uh, pre pre assembly proof. Pre assembly proof. Yeah. So everything's printed up. Um, we have the game here, and then we have the bits. That was the Kickstarter add-ons, right? Yes. Um, the dice and the stuff. What we do not have is the expansion, unless they've tucked it inside the box. So we're gonna check that right now, right? Uh, or not? Grow some fingernails, man. I just got the. <laughs> Try to have good ideas. Alright, so. Okay. Ooh, that is torn. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's not in here. Yeah, so the expansion is not inside this. So we'll have to figure out. Have to talk to the company and find out where they, yeah. what they did with it. All right, so here's the the game board, right? Beautiful is threefold as requested. Yeah, uh, nice rich colors. I'm happy with it. Here's the punch board. So um, this is going to be in the retail version of the game, and then all of the wood bits are separate. Right? Yes. Okay. So that is good, except for the drift on the card. Yeah. It's not that bad, but there is some drift. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have a border around something, you're going to notice the drift a lot easier. Yeah. The back has a lot more drift, but... Okay. How can that be? I don't know. We have some decks of cards. So these are the uh, fences, um, the locations, and what else? Player boards? Oh, player boards, yeah. Okay. These are the player boards. They're all punch board material. It's pretty so thick. Thick and chunky. Yep. And they've got the the player colors on the edges of the, each board. Yeah. And then on the back we just I just decided to repeat the kind of thief area here on the game board. So just to have some some color, some excitement back there, I guess. And then a bunch of thieves. A bunch of thieves. Somebody's foot is over here. Uh oh. So there's the. Okay. Good job. That was an arm. They snap good. Yeah. So there's the um, the player colors. Score markers, yeah. The score markers in the basic game, yes. And the tiny thieves. So it's pretty good. Mm hmm. We'll probably have to figure something out about these uh, broken ones. Right? Yeah. But only one broke so far. So that just means I have to mail out one to every every backer, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want to stop that if possible. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the uh, for the for the main game here, this looks fairly good. Yep. I'm not displeased with anything. Um, in the expansion, which is not here. These thieves become your lieutenants and have some special features they can do. Yeah. Because there's different score tokens inside the uh, expansion box. Cool. So rule book is looking good. Um, papers, okay. Okay. It's not bad. It's legible. It's not blurry. <laughs> it's in the right order. It's in the right order. <laughs> the pages are sequential. That's a good, good, good sign. Okay, so then these are the, the wood bits. The extra wood bits. The extra wood bits. Yeah, and these actually do look really good. I'm not so sure about the color of the fossil ones. I think we purposely made it a bit darker so that the white would show up better. Well, then we better do the same thing with dice. When you get to those, you'll see. The, like, the dice I looked at earlier. Yeah. Okay. So <clears> these <throat> are the fortune favors the bold dice. Um, and yeah, we probably should have made that the same yellow as that. Mm -hmm. Probably. So we'll see if we can fix that. I mean, it's not horrible. You can still see it. It's just, yeah, it's a blemish on the die. So yeah, wood, they're wood dice. So there's a little, there's bound to be a little imperfections here and there because the wood is wood. Mm -hmm. But we thought it gave a nice uh, feel to the game. Yeah. So yeah, the dice have the each of the treasure symbols and the thief symbol on it. Can see that we're kind of far from the camera today. Yeah. 
So, um, and then we have these are the the new score markers that David was talking about. So, essentially, if you're the purple player, <laughs> instead of this being your score marker, you put the cool looking guy on the zero, and then this goes into your seat. Right. And if you ordered an extra set of these little meeples, you can put them in your 10-minute heist, the Wizard's Tower. Yeah. They can replace the standees that are in the in that game. So it's the same art from those standees that's kind of screen printed on there. So it's going to be a nice touch. And the, they match the colors, too. Theoretically. We think through <laughs> sometime. <laughs> All right, cool. So, yeah, overall, I think it's good. We need yep. to... Double, make sure they double check on the uh, the meeples not being busted. Yeah. Here's one of those busted pre-painting, so. Uh, it's a quality control. Yeah, they gotta work on that. And um, I'm gonna ask them to tighten up the drift a little bit on the punch board. Yep. And then all we're missing is cards and some punch board in the box for fortune favors and bowls. Right. So we'll figure out where that went. Indeed. Cool. But we are ahead of schedule. We are, which is a, uh, a, probably a first for us. So yeah. We'll make note of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. China is closed. Well, the factories in China are closed for the next two weeks, at least, for the uh, Lunar New Year. Till the 15th? Uh, yeah, this factory is closed till the 15th. Yeah. Um, another factory we use now and then is... Uh, Closed till the end of February. So, yeah. Good times. Yeah. So, but yeah, as soon as they reopen again, they'll be working hard on getting these few little adjustments done and then uh, getting this out to us. So then we can get it out to you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye.